If you remember the G7 meeting in Cornwall, that sign behind me just there is the G7 sign. This is where they stayed. And you'll remember the images of them all on the beach having a lovely time. Boris Johnson taking his morning dip in the ocean, Macron and others all enjoying themselves, having air displays and barbecues on the beach here, whilst being global leaders, whilst the rest of us were locked down and crucified while the rest of us have to pay the price for ridiculous climate legislation. These guys all flew in from God knows where and up the road at the castle, all of their massive entourage also jetted in and we paid for all of that to happen. This is one of the most exclusive and fanciest hotels in Cornwall. I would ask you to think about what's going on in Ukraine at the moment and Boris Johnson. Perhaps you think, like Ian Dale, he's a massive hero of our times. How brave of him. Do you really think he would have been anywhere near that place if there was any risk to him whatsoever? No. Many people report from Ukraine to say that things are pretty calm, unless you're in the east and the Donbass, where there has always been fighting. But let me just say, what's actually going on with Boris Johnson and Ukraine is a massive distraction. It's a brilliant PR strategy to take away focus from the fact that he was partying when you were locked down just as here in Carbis Bay, the G7 were jetting in a meeting when you were locked down as well. The hypocrisy of our politicians has never been more blatant and perhaps the willingness of the sheeple to lap up these press stunts is also, or possibly even more, shocking than the way we're being treated.